On my journey through the Americas, I've seen how giants are vital for our planet. But we're living through a period of unrivaled change. And history tells us that during these times, the biggest animals are often the first to disappear. Until recently, South America was home to a whole host of colossal creatures. Flightless terror birds towered three meters tall. Their long beaks could shatter bone. The glyptodon was a giant armadillo that grew to the size of a car. And huge ground sloths loomed as tall as giraffes. But around 11,000 years ago, these lumbering giants were unable to adapt to a shift in climate and were all driven to extinction. Today, the biggest, heaviest creatures left on the continent are found on the beaches of Argentina. But what makes them extraordinary is how they're working alongside us in the race to understand our changing planet. Each spring draws huge gatherings of the most bizarre of beasts. Southern Elephant Seal. It's popping season. Females return to land to give birth and nurse their young. In just three weeks, they'll have them weaned and be ready to breed again with the dominant male. Known as the beach master, this male has established a harem of over 90 females. four-ton torpedo of blubber. He can be up to 10 times the size of the females. To ensure his lineage, he must guard them from rival bulls. The beach master uses his bulk to scare off smaller intruders. warning calls that reach 120 decibels. But sometimes he faces a far bigger challenge. An equally huge bull willing to take him on. Ten males on this beach will ever secure the chance to mate. The stakes. 
couldn't be higher. stronger bull to take over the harem and give rise to a new generation of giants. In a few weeks, the breeding season will be over and the whole colony will head back out to sea. It's in the largely unexplored Southern Ocean that these big beasts are using their size to join us in a very different fight. Elephant seals can travel up to 20,000 kilometers a year and dive deep beneath the Antarctic sea ice in search of squid. Scientists have fitted them with satellite tags and sensors, and the data they're helping to gather suggests an ominous trend. In recent years, the sea ice has melted faster than ever recorded. We're harnessing the power of these huge ocean-going pioneers and working with them to monitor the health of our planet. 